you know, I have really enjoyed cooking out of my magazine. Uh, my girls cook out of this a lot. And when I'm talking about my girls, I'm talking about my niece, Kari, and my daughter-in-law, Brooke. She cooks out of this magazine a lot. And Claudia and Michelle and Ashley, a little bit. They, they um, enjoy uh, pulling recipes from these magazines. Well, in this month's SIP special issue, a recipe that's near and dear to my heart cropped up and I said, oh my gosh, Teresa, that sounds like uh, our gooey butter cake almost. And she said, yeah. Uh, so when we formulated this recipe, we certainly, of course I can't remember everything y'all, but we certainly must have had that gooey butter cake in the back of our mind. But this is called a brown blondie with a warm vanilla uh, sauce, a caramel sauce. So we are gonna, let me give you the measurements just in case you uh, have a hard time finding them. It's one cup of packed light brown sugar, one cup of heavy cream, heavy whipping cream, and uh, a fourth of a cup of unsalted butter cubed, and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So, let me throw the salt in. And when it gets through cooking, we'll put the vanilla flavoring in there. We're gonna put like a cup and a half of vanilla flavoring. I was just talking about vanilla flavoring, y'all. <laughs> that that sounds like a, a vodka drink. <laughs> sounds like a vodka drink. <laughs> a teaspoon and a half. <laughs> a teaspoon and a half, y'all, of vanilla. So, what we've got here, y'all, is a caramel sauce because we've used the brown sugar. Now we're gonna bring this sauce to a ball. And I've got it over like a medium high heat. We're gonna let that come to a ball and then we're gonna lower our temperature on this and we're gonna let it cook for about 10 minutes. And you're gonna need to let this sit for about 30 minutes before you stir it. So we're actually starting with the sauce first and then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna make the the uh, the brownie part, the pecan blindie. I love blindies. Mm. So here we go. Let's see if there's any more in there. A little bit. You know, in a, when you're using whipping cream, you, you think you got it all, but you can always get another drop out. Have y'all ever noticed? <laughs> You can always get one more drop. So anyway, uh, the teaspoon and a half of vanilla, we're gonna put that in after this is cooked because if you cook, let the vanilla flavoring cook in, you're gonna lose a lot of its punch. So we don't wanna, we don't wanna ball that vanilla, but we sure do wanna have it handy. And um, this is some of my homemade Vanilla, I've told y'all, I know probably several times, this is, this is just makes the nicest gift. Um, you just get your vanilla beans at the grocery store and slice them and then take your a paring knife and just, just skim down that bean and get all of that dark gooey substance out of the middle and put it in your, your uh, bottle with whatever bottle you decide, but this is a perpetual vanilla that, um, gosh, somebody sent me a long time ago. And, you know, you you got the, the bottle and you got the beans, but then you have to actually get your vanilla started. But, you know, for it to be really good, it needs to sit for a couple of months, at least six weeks, y'all. Okay, so this is coming to a bowl. Mmm. 
and this is gonna be so good. I wonder if I can find y'all a picture. I can't remember if this recipe has a picture with it or not. Let's see. Let's see what page is that on. Let's see. It's on page 92. Oh, look how beautiful coconut rice pudding. I'm going to make some rice pudding one day for everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There it is. Pecan blindies with a vanilla caramel. Now, that's up to you, but you can always put a big old scoop of Bluebell homemade vanilla. It's the best vanilla ice cream I've eaten ever. Besides homemade, it's the best. All right, it's bowling, isn't it, Eddie? Mm, mm. It's gonna be delicious. I kinda want a caramel cake now. You want a caramel cake? <laughs> well, let's make one. Sounds good. I can make a caramel cake too. I mean, I could eat a caramel cake too. <laughs> They're a little tedious to make, Eddie, caramel cakes. Okay. Turn that down a little bit. And for 10 minutes, we're gonna let this cook. Okay, great, Teresa, I appreciate you doing that. Now, do I keep it boiling? Well, I, I cut it down. Okay, so, so it should the start. is still hot. Let me tell my 10 minutes so I don't burn this. Mmm, <laughs> wow. Yum. That caramel sauce is gonna be so delicious. So delicious. All right. Now the reason I like this uh, blindy is because you don't have to pull out any kind of electric mixer. We're just gonna stir all this together and we're gonna start with our brown sugar and then we're gonna add our eggs. Gonna whisk those eggs in with that brown sugar. <laughs> and then, I don't know why this recipe's making me giggle. <laughs> I guess because I know what's coming. <laughs> All right. One cup of melted butter. I guess it's my love of butter that makes me want to giggle. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. Is that unsalted butter, Teresa? Yes, ma'am. Oh, it's so nasty. I know, but I had some in my refrigerator, so I figured I'd use it up. Because <laughs> we don't well, waste, I appreciate waste it. not, want not. That's right. You know, all of my recipes call for uh, unsalted butter. Listen, I don't use unsalted butter. If I'm making a cake, I'm going to use salted butter because I like the salt and the sweet. Uh, unsalted butter does not even taste like butter. Not a drop. So, since this is my party and I can cry if I want to, <laughs> I'm gonna put some salt in there. Okie dokie. So we're just gonna beat in our vanilla. Now I'm gonna get our wooden spoon to do that with. 
And I'm gonna put in two teaspoons of vanilla. Now over there I was using uh, homemade and over here I'm using store-bought. Well, you can have the homemade if you want it. Oh no, this is okay. This is okay. And I can't remember, Teresa, was that uh, plain flour or? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this is not gonna rise up too big. Ooh, I love recipes that I don't have to pull out any mixers. And that was walnuts that I put in there. I get every bit of that off the... So you use unsalted butter at home, Teresa? No, I don't know why I bought it. I bought it by mistake because, <laughs> and so I was trying to slide it in on you, but apparently that didn't work. I'm telling you, I kind of know my butters. Okay. So now all you have to do is um, taking a piece of parchment paper, lining it within a nine inch square pan, and you want, you want, um, you want to have some excess parchment paper because when it gets done, we're gonna take the, the parchment paper and lift it out. So that's why the paper is so big. Okay. This is going oh, I smell that vanilla. Thank you, Eddie. It's, a, it's kind of a boo-boo to work with, but we'll be happy when we go to take it out that we have gone to the trouble of using parchment paper. I mean, you can have this, uh, this dessert ready in no time. And the fact that you've got vanilla ice cream in your freezer, mmm. And you could you buy can, a caramel sauce if you want, if you didn't want to. Yeah, you could, but why? Because know, a homemade, uh -huh, a homemade caramel sauce is so much better than a school malt. And they're so easy to make. She's scraping that bowl right down to the end. Yep. Yeah. doesn't yep. even leave us a tiny bit of dough. <laughs> Not a drip or a drop. It might be one little pinch right there. <laughs> okay. I'm going to spread this out because it's a very thick, it's a very thick batter. But we can do this thing. So we're gonna put this in the oven. We've got it preheated at 350 degrees, y'all. And uh, I'm gonna have to refer back to the recipe because I can't remember how long, but a typical- 25 to 30 minutes. 25 to 30 minutes, that sounds about right because a regular uh, gooey butter cake, we'd cook it 35 to 40 minutes. And just said you do want it to have a little bit of a few moist crumbs when you eat it. Yeah. It's gonna be delicious. Oh. All right, can I borrow your um, you can timer? Hmm. <laughs> it's only been five minutes. Mm -hmm. No, it's been a little longer than that. I should have used fun. that. Oh, I don't know how you use that. Oh, no, no. I you gotta go to college for that. <laughs> no, no, you just do 314 and you say, what, I'll wait till it turns 318 oh. and I'll have oh. four more minutes. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so. What did that say? 30 minutes? Yes. 30 to 35. 
Okay, well, I'll put it on 32. No, I'm sorry, 25 to 30. Let's not overcook 25 this. to 30, okay, make up your mind. I don't know. All right, I'll put it on 28. <laughs> so, such an easy recipe, y'all. I hope you got all the measurements down. Because if you hadn't cut me over, It'll and be again, a, the recipe it'll will be, be a attached. dessert to impress. And the recipe will be attached to the video. Good. There's a link, right? Always. I wouldn't leave y'all hanging. Hmm. Okay, so 28 to 30 minutes. And you don't have to stir it constantly, Teresa. It just said frequently. Okay. So. You know, I follow directions. I know you do, girl. When Eddie was traveling somewhere, he came back with some little gifts for me. Look at this precious little wooden spoon. I love it. Where did you find it, Eddie? I th you know, I think they're they're uh, handmade up in Gosstown, New Hampshire. Oh my gosh, I love them. I have a favorite little store up there that I go to. See, look, look, see, see the, uh, the concentrated green. vanilla bean that was in the lid of that from me shaking it. So, that is definitely going in the pot. So it's been 10 minutes, and I'm gonna do something I shouldn't do, and that's I'm gonna measure it over the pot, because if I slipped up, I could ruin everything right now, but I'm gonna try not to slip up. <laughs> okay, so. I cut the eye off, but you know, these inductions, they, these tops stay hot for a little while. So, we're gonna let that sit for 30 minutes. Look at that, how beautiful. How beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, y'all, it's time for the good stuff now. No more salads, no more low calorie stuff. It's time for our brown, our blonde, blonde <laughs> brownies <laughs> with a caramel sauce. So look at this. See, that's why we put the parchment paper in there. So we could just lift it right out of the pan. And I'm probably gonna get nine servings out of this. I don't know, I actually could get more than that, Eddie. I think I'm gonna cut it smaller than that. Yeah. I'm gonna get us a few more servings. Okay. Now I would cut this more generous if I was serving someone a dessert. But this is gonna be very, very, very rich. And I want you to look at my ice cream scoop. A friend that watches my show sent this to me. I love it so much. Uh, I'll never use another ice cream scoop other than this one. You see the handles are filled with some type of liquid. And I just put this, ooh, under the hot water and let it sit. And it will help you get that ice cream out of there so much easier. You know, I mean, it's still gonna be work. Still gonna be a little work, but you know what? So worth it. All right. How about if I do this bigger piece and look at that. Now you don't want to overcook this. You want it to be a little, little gooey. Just like that. Kind of like the gooey butter cakes. All right, so there we go. Look, that, that scooper is so hot. It was melting the ice cream. Okay, that got old uh, Teresa off the sofa. <laughs> Look at here at this caramel sauce, would you? Look at that. 10 minutes. That's almost pure porn. 
Mm. <laughs> it's food porn. Exactly. Whoa. Give it your best shot, Paul. Oh. We could just taste this one and then I'll fix another. How about that? Eddie? Come on over I'll, here, Therese. Huh? I'll what? Wait. You'll wait. You'll wait. Here, Therese. When have I ever heard you say that you'll wait on something sweet? Okay, get you some. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Look at that. I can't Look get over that. how easy that caramel sauce is to make. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh my gosh. We need to go to church, sister. Mm -hmm. I'll mm. eat the front end, you eat the back end. Mmm. <laughs> I'd eat that back end any day. <laughs> Pretty? That is a sin. It might, yeah. We are sinning. We need to go to church, y'all. Mmm. I have no words. No, no words. I'll just dig back in. How about that? Oh my gosh. So good. You have to try mm -hmm. this too. Mm. All right. We have to wrap this up so Eddie can have a piece. I wanted you to see the look on her face oh. when she was eating it. So can you do it again, Teresa? Without me talking. It's not that hard. Mm. <laughs> it is so good. I tell you what, you could not you couldn't go to a bakery mm -mm. and buy anything close to this. 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Please make the recipe, y'all. Which magazine is it in? This is on a special interest piece. Yeah, That's it's on the stand right now. It's on the stand right now. Come on, Teresa. You let me get it. I have a whole it. piece. You just end this. No, uh uh. Uh huh. Loving best dishes, y'all. y'all it's Paula Dean. Now if you enjoyed this video be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes y'all.